So, your underlying energy is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles talks about hard work, diligence. Um, this also talks about nurturing a very stable energy. She's very committed to the things that she puts her, uh, her heart and soul into, right? And the reason why she's so committed to it is because it resonates with her worth. She knows, how, she knows that whatever she gets involved in is worth her time and energy. Um, this could be about reevaluating what your worth is this week, Libra. Um, underneath here, you have the High Priestess, which is someone that was very receptive. Okay, she's very receptive, and she's very, um, she's very um, intuitive because she listens to her emotions. Okay. And I'm not saying that you guys don't listen to your emotions, but she is very intuitive because of her her awareness of how she feels and how she where she is emotionally all the time. But most importantly, this talks about um, what you may already know in regards to your relationship. You being committed, definitely. Um, but what's what may not be um, seen could potentially could be the thing that could bother you a little bit. But I don't think there's any mystery or any lies or anything like that. I do get the sense though that there was. There is a period in your life where you're having to use your intuition because you're not sure exactly of, you know, 100% of how to kind of go about doing something. All right. Now, in your relationship currently, you have the seven, the six of wands. So this is good. You feel and recognize the effort that you've been putting in. You feel that there is a victory in this relationship where you're feeling very happy or very good about the standing in your relationship, which is absolutely wonderful, right? So... Yeah, I feel like you've been recognized for all the hard work that you've been putting in. I feel like you are recognizing the effort that you've been putting in has been putting, you know, has been successful and wonderful in a, in a, in a lot of ways. Now, with the Page of Wands being in your goal, aim, or ambition, I feel like you have the page, you know, with, the page, with this Page of Wands being there in your goal, is talking about wanting to start something new, go on a new adventure, start flirting, being more active and showing and expressing your love, I feel like. But the thing that's keeping you guys from being able to express your love is the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, which somebody is totally should be very passionate, should be very exciting, very um, authentic. Um, they're not. <laughs> this person is not showing that. This person is showing up to be very... Um, you know, it's quite the opposite, right? There's not a lot of passion from this individual. Um, the King of King of Wands is very passionate. He's very, you know, flirtatious in his own way. Um, but again, this person is not coming up to be this way. This could be you, Libra. You may not be feeling very passionate at this moment because you are coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, potentially. Um, or you could just be dealing with somebody that is, you know, that's just not, that's not feeling the passionate vibes. They're just working on getting some sort of so meeting ends meet. They're being ruthless in a very practical sense. They're being the king of wands in a practical sense, which is, you know, waiting for some give and take or trying to gain some sort of give and take. Um, or they're just trying to get, you know, even out the scales potentially in their own lives. They're trying to balance stuff out. And that's probably why they're not very actively, um, you know, passionate in their relationship, in the relationship with you right now. Um, very interesting. Now, in your best path to follow, you have the eight sorry excuse me the five of pentacles now the five of pentacles it does talk about feeling left out in the cold it does talk about um lack in the relationship but it also talks about endurance it talks about finding a solution as well and i feel like with this five of pentacles it's about finding a solution to this situation which lies there's no passion there's a lot of practical focus on in this relationship. Like somebody could be very focused on money at this moment. And that's probably why the, the passion went down a little bit. But it's nothing that you all can't solve. It's just a little bit of something that's lacking here. Um, and I feel like it's, yeah, it, it is annoying to constantly kind of be the person that works out a solution. But hey, it's all about, you know, putting in your 50, right? Make, you know, putting in your two cents in regards to making the relationship work. And Libra, as you know, you're really good at doing that, okay? And I feel like with the five of pentacles, it's about figuring out what's lacking and then finding a solution to it. Because emotionally, you guys are feeling very apathetic. You're not really interested anymore. Like there's a lot of disinterest coming out of your emotions right now. Like you just look at it and you're like, oh, okay, no, I don't know about this, okay. You got the same old, same old. Queen of Pentacles, she's cool with the same old, same old. She don't mind it, especially because if it's hers, she's fine with it. But this is the same old, same old, and it's 
driving you nuts because you're feeling stuck in your situation and you don't really see a way out of it okay but that's the thing it's that's where the five of pentacles potentially comes in shifting the focus because what this person is seeing here in front of them is just three cups they just have what they know in front of them and i feel like it may require some sort of branching out something new something that's outside of your you know not necessarily outside of your comfort zone but something that's just gonna shift your energy shift your focus to be able to find a solution in the first place because right now emotionally there's not a lot of interest there's very there's a lot of lack of interest if anything and it's not your fault considering that the situation you know somebody dropped the ball on it in the first place right if you someone drops the ball on the passion how are you meant to keep the passion up it's hard to do Especially because that's why the key, that's why the six of pentacles is here. In the, in the past, it was balanced. Somebody dropped the ball. Somebody had dropped the ball, and now somebody is having to you know pick it up. Somebody's having to just kind of like, okay, we're lacking in this aspect now. What do we need to do? And that's potentially why you have this constant effort coming in, right? You guys are coming up as a queen of pentacles. You're working so hard right now to just make sure this relationship is balanced, make sure this relationship is working, make sure you're working even, but there isn't a lot of time to really receive because you, you know, with, when you let something go, it's like somebody drops the ball on that too. So you got to pick that up. So it's frustrating. It can be, but most importantly, guys, it's like the four of cups, like you're not feeling it. You're not feeling it. And it's almost like it's just constantly feeling vulnerable and you're not really getting the support that you need. You're not feeling like if someone else is trying to make the thing work. I mean, you still have a relationship here because you have the two people in this car with the five of pentacles, but at the same time, it can feel like you are going, you are solo in this relationship. Would you guys want the higher friend? Let's just talk about commitment. You want some sort of sense of commitment, some sort of stability, some routine. I think you guys want protect, potentially, um, potentially some structure because, yeah, sure, the Knight of Wands, you know, you know, the King of Wands, rather, he's he or she is like very passionate, whatever they can be, but they're focusing on something completely left field that's caused you to be all unbalanced, right? It makes sense that you want a routine so that way you can constantly get some sort of get something out of this relationship because yeah you may have reached a certain succession in your relationship but there's something that's lacking as well this person may not be available or may not be around you may be happy about where you have achieved and where you've come from in your life because you've been working so much but the relationship right here is falling short because there's somebody that's not here somebody's not really putting in the fire that passion it's like you it's not like you have to rely on this person to put in the fire and the passion is maybe you need to put the fire and the passion in because you work so hard but it takes two to tangle and if you are the only person in here that's recognized and there's not a lot of passion in the relationship then it's like okay it takes two to fix it too all right so with the higher friend being in your hopes and fears yeah you want some sort of routine potentially some sort of you know so something scheduled so that way there is a con you know, so there's a bit more consistency um there is commitment here as well with the higher friend um so there may be something that you know you might want to feel more like you're in a relationship and you know you could feel you know solid in it like you're going somewhere like this is something that truly has some meaning to it because the higher friend he doesn't just you know follow laws and do things that he put himself purposely in like a certain lifestyle because it didn't mean anything to him where you know he's learning something he's he he gets something out of it when he commits to it what are you getting out of this relationship right now libra in your outcome you have the two pentacles so this is talking about making practical decisions but this is also about juggling too juggling two options juggling two situations i don't think there's anybody that's going to be cheating but i do get this feeling that there's somebody that's just focusing on work because their emotions because emotionally and, and especially in their relationship is unfulfilling four of, four of cups it's just not feeling it nobody somebody's not feeling it it's like oh this is like this is like okay well we got a connection here no doubt there's a this you used to be fun this person but there's a lot of focus on finances now that really makes this relationship hard to even begin to enjoy all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this Oof, you guys have playfulness now with playfulness coming up this is talking about you know being playful recapturing romance allow your inner your youthfulness and spirit of fun to shine 
right? This is like I was saying, there's not a lot of fun in the relationship not in the anymore. It's like it's kind of gotten a little dry. It's gotten a little, a little crusty. So, <laughs> I mean, it ain't it's crusty. So that means you can add a little bit of water to it and have a little more fun. You don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to get this way. It doesn't have to be this way. And I feel like again, like it takes two to tango. It's going to require a lot of function, a lot of work to be able to. Not, not not a lot of work, but working together that's going to build the relationship in the way that you both can get something out of it. Because finances, okay, we can always, we can always, you know, we can always make money. It's not that hard. But if it starts to obstruct the relationship, the stability of one's life, the stability of one's relationship can crumble too. So there, there has to be some sort of fun aspect to this, right? I feel like that's why the Page of Wands is in your goal energy. You're like, I want some fun. You're in a good spot. You're in a good place. You want to enjoy this relationship. You want to enjoy every aspect of life. But how can you if somebody's so so focused on something else? And the Six of Pentacles is usually about, like I said, give and take. There was potentially a balance in the relationship. And now it's just like, where is the pendulum swinging this time? Oh, man. We'll see where the whispers of love comes up for you guys. Wow, love endures. Love doesn't give up or lose faith. Love is a hopeful and withstands every situation. Sorry if it's getting dark. It's storming outside. So yeah, it's true. There's no, there's no breakup. There's no, there's no third party relationship. I mean, there could be because somebody could be focusing on work. I mean, that could be a third party relationship right there. Somebody is focusing so much on finances that they're leaving the relationship all crippling. Right? There's there's not a lot of structure to withstand this relationship, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a option or any solutions. It will require you to shift your focus from what's boring onto what is enjoyable, right? What keep, like starting something new, because this could be that this relationship is fresh, brand new, and you guys are trying to get to a place where you guys can feel stable and you know you're building a connection together, but. If you feel apathy, you manifest more ma apathy, right? It's about shifting your focus. Shifting your focus, Libra. And it's it's hard to do, especially when things are just so boring and so dry and so crispy. Not crispy, because crispy is at least a little exciting. Crusty, all right? If it's crusty, it's not, it's just, it, ugh, what? No. No, save the crustiness and bye. But at least, I don't know, at least if there was crispiness, there would be some fun, but but I feel like when I see here when there's four of cups, it's like, yeah, there's just nothing going on. Perhaps you can have something. Maybe you can do something to, to get something started. I know, right? You've, you've potentially been working very hard and things like that. But, I mean, with the four of cups to get out of your situation, right? There's a cup that's being offered to you. You just don't see it. But it's hard to, if you feel like everything that comes to you, everything that lays right in front of you is the same old BS. Now that's the hard part, right? Shifting your focus. It's the same here. The two of pentacles, making practical decisions, juggling some things, but not looking at what your emotions are trying to tell you. And I feel like that's emotionally, your emotions are they're telling you, I am bored. But at the same time, they're, you know, it's all about shifting your focus from what is boring to what you can do about it. What, what new things, what, what options, you know, can come about, you know, some shifting your focus in regards to you know you know that it's boring the five of pentacles says that you know it's boring you know it's not really exciting you know you're feeling left out in the cold right now because the king of wands could potentially be looking at you know not necessarily looking at other options but there could be that there's some focus on balancing their life out or there's a lot of focus on money at the moment there's something going on but in order to be able to make it this, you know, to make something out of this relationship a little bit more fun, a little more exciting, perhaps the shift of focus is, focus is necessary here. 